Good day science scoopers. Welcome back to our online class. We are now about to tackle our fifth lesson. The divergent boundaries. We will know what happens when plates move apart. I am your teacher Dags and I want to drag you to our studies. Have your notebook and pen ready so you can take down important notes. Here at the science scoop, we will learn science with fun. Here are three objectives for today. The first objective is to determine divergent boundaries. The second objective is to differentiate the types of divergent boundaries. The third objective is to appreciate the results of diverging boundaries. Our lesson for today is somewhat related to drama especially when there is breakup scene. Separation between two people who love each other makes their hearts broken and their tears flow from their eyes. These two, the breaking and the flowing, are also observed when plates go divergent boundaries. It may sound funny but watching breakup dramas remind me of divergent boundaries. To officially start our lesson for today. I have here pictures showing the results of divergent boundaries. What word or words can you use to describe these four pictures? The two pictures above, happen on continental divergence and the, the two pictures below, happen when oceanic divergence occur. All pictures show space or gap between crusts. Thus we can say that the Earth's crust is broken in separating boundaries. Divergent boundaries occur when two tectonic plates move away from each other. Along the divergent boundaries, earthquakes are common and magma or the molten rock rises from the Earth's mantle to the Earth's surface. The molten material on the Earth's surface or lava will solidify to create new oceanic crust. Aside from frequent earthquakes or shaking, divergent boundaries result to wider bodies of water like ocean. The new ocean crust deposits turn ocean floor wider. There are two types of diverging boundaries. The first one happen when continental crust splits apart. And the second one occur when oceanic crust breaks up. Let us first tackle the continental continental divergence. Let us know the mystery why this land in Africa splits apart. A divergent plate boundary on land rips apart continents. In continental rifting, magma rises beneath the continent, causing the continental crust to become thinner and thinner. As this event continues the continental crust breaks and ultimately split apart. The new ocean crust erupts creating an ocean between the splitting continents. Let us see what happens to the diverging continental crusts. The first event happens when there is a concentration of heat beneath the earth crust called mantle plume. As the crust is heated, it is expanded making a broad area become uplifted. This second illustration shows that both normal faults and rift valleys are formed. Rift valleys are lowland formed when diverging boundaries take place. As time goes by and the continental crusts are ultimately broken apart, the hot molten materials from the mantle rise and form new oceanic crust, the gap between crusts is filled by water creating new ocean. After so many years the crust become thinner and thinner due to erosions. The crust cools, contracts and sinks beneath the sea forming wider ocean. The splitting boundaries around the globe can make us see their results in each stage. For stage 1, we have Colorado Plateau. For stage 2, we have African Rift Valley and Rio Grande Valley as examples. For stage 3, we've got the Red Sea. And for the last stage we have the Atlantic Ocean. As the tectonic evolution happens, the concentration of heat beneath, makes the crust expanded and uplifted as observed in Colorado Plateau. These pictures show the African Rift Valley and the Rio Grande Rift Valley. Both are evidences on the continuous separation of continental crusts. The Great Rift Valley of Africa is an indication that African continent is slowly breaking into two. A rift valley is a lowland region that forms where Earth's tectonic plates move apart or rift. Rift valleys are found both on land and at the bottom of the ocean, where they are created by the process of seafloor spreading. As continental continental divergence occurs, rift volcanoes are being formed as magma rises to fill the gap between diverging plates. Thus, you can see series of volcanoes between the African plate and the Arabian plate. 
Also, as Africa is torn apart, volcanoes in between its pieces are seen. This is Erda Ale Volcano of Ethiopia, Africa. The natives of Ethiopia, Africa named the Erda Ale as Lava Lake. When continental divergence is on its third stage, linear C is evident. Red Sea is formed due to the diverging African and Arabian plate. As the divergence continues for million years, the ocean formed has turned bigger. The Atlantic Ocean has gone very vast as the plates of North American Plate and South American Plate move separately from Eurasian Plate and African Plate. The Atlantic Ocean becomes wider and wider as divergence among plates continues. Now, let us discuss the second type of divergent boundaries, oceanic-oceanic divergence. Do you know that there are lots of volcanic activities happening at the bottom of the sea? These volcanic eruptions at the ocean floor occur as oceanic crusts split apart. Also, due to this, ocean floor becomes wider in the process called seafloor spreading. Oceanic divergence leads seafloor spreading. Seafloor spreading means that the seafloor becomes wider. Let us discuss this process step by step. When a divergent boundary occurs beneath oceanic lithosphere, the concentration of heat in the mantle plume forms convection current. This convection current lifts the lithosphere. The extensional forces due to convection current stretch the lithosphere and produce a deep fissure. This will lead to the formation of the rift valley and the mid-ocean ridge. The hot molten material rises to the crack along the mid-ocean ridge. As the lava solidifies, new oceanic crust is formed. The seafloor becomes wider. Thus we can say oceanic divergence leads to the seafloor spreading. Okay. We have to unblock our vocabulary for convection current and mid-ocean ridge, so we had better take a pause on our discussion about diverging boundaries for a while to know the meaning of those words. Convection current is the driving mechanism of plate tectonics. In convection current, hotter and less dense particles rise and the cool and denser particles sink. The hot less dense rising material spreads out as it reaches the mantle causing upward and sideward force. This is evident in divergent boundaries. The downward movement of the convection current occurs along a convergent boundary where the sinking force pull the tectonic plate downward. This illustration shows the cross-sectional view of the Earth. This is the mantle plume. At the mantle plume, there is a great concentration of heat. As the temperature increases, the materials become less dense causing the hot molten rock or magma to rise. As the magma rises, there is a decrease in its temperature causing the magma to move and sink sideward. This process happens repeatedly which turns the Earth's crust thinner and thinner. As time goes by, the Earth's crust split apart. This is how convection current cause divergent boundaries. This animation shows how convection currents move. Remember the hotter materials are less dense and move upward. As the materials become farther from the plume, it cools down a bit and become denser, thus, the materials move and sink sideward going back to the plume. As convection currents continue, the Earth's crusts move. As divergent boundaries happen at one part of the globe, convergent boundaries occur at the other side of the planet. At divergent boundaries, the gap formed between the crusts is being filled by the magma. At convergent boundaries, the crust goes under subduction. However, you should know that the rate of the processes of divergent boundaries and convergent boundaries are not the same. Right. The converging boundaries destroy crust when it reaches the subduction zone. The high temperature of the asthenosphere or the upper part of the mantle melts the crust. Thus, convergent boundary is also called as the destructive boundary. However, in diverging boundaries, hot molten materials are released and become new crust as it cools down. For this reason, diverging boundary is called as the constructive type. According to some references, mid-ocean ridges were first discovered during the World War II, as soldier submarine accidentally observed patterns of unusual structures underwater. This is the map of the world's mid-ocean ridges. Mid-ocean ridge implies that the Earth's crust split apart. As the lava fills the gap along the underwater rift, underwater mountain ranges is formed. This is called as the mid-ocean ridge. 
This picture shows the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Like other ocean systems, Mid-Atlantic Ridge has developed as a consequence of the divergent motion between Eurasian and North American plates and African and South American plates. This video of Minagai 101 shows how new oceanic crust is formed as Mid-Ocean Ridge also starts developing. In an underwater eruption, the molten lava comes in direct contact with the cold sea water. And forms characteristic pillow-like shapes. In underwater eruption, the molten lava comes in direct contact with cold seawater. As it solidifies, mountain ranges underwater or the mid-oceanic ridges are formed. These are the ridges of the world. Among these, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is considered as one of the most active ridges in terms of volcanic activity. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge formed due to the diverging boundaries of North American Plate and the Eurasian Plate. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is well known, for it cuts Iceland directly separating or dividing the country into pieces. Because of the diverging movement of North American Plate and Eurasian Plate happens, fissure volcanoes along the splitting parts of Iceland appeared. Iceland is directly cut by the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Mount Helka is one of the active volcanoes of Iceland. Because of its uniqueness, Iceland has so many attractions. It has cold weather at the same time volcanic activities happen to the country. Here are some pictures of Iceland showing how it has gotten its nickname as the land of ice and fire. Overall, here are the major results of divergent boundaries. Earthquakes often occur along the splitting plates. As these plates continue moving apart, normal faults and rift valleys are formed. Volcanoes appear along the diverging plates. The creation or lengthening of the ocean floor happens as the separation continues. Formation of new crust becomes possible as magma rises at the ocean floor. This event leads to underwater mountain ranges or mid-ocean ridge. Since new crust is created, the divergent boundary is called as constructive type. The splitting plates assure the continuous supply of new crust. The upward and sideward forces when new materials are released cause the sideward movement of oceanic crust as it spreads. Thus, both sides of the crack, left and right, receive the same materials at the same time. The newest or youngest crust is found nearest to the crack. The oldest crust is found farthest from the source of hot molten materials. The ocean becomes wider and wider as this volcanic activity goes on between the divergent boundaries. Remember, when things split or broken apart water flows. I'm sorry for that joke. Kidding aside, the result of both types of divergence is the formation or lengthening of ocean floor. Now that you already know the two types of divergent boundaries, you can explain how these earth features formed. At the meantime, I feel that you are now ready to do our activity. Now, let us have our challenge today. Let's call this wider and wiser. Wider because I believe that after our discussion, you get wider ideas about plate tectonics, thus, you have turned wiser. The mechanics of this activity is very simple. I have set of yellow letters for every item. The description of the answer that I am looking for is in the box. In 10 seconds, you have to tell the word being described using the given shuffled letters. Let's have this as our example. I have the set of yellow letters. And here is the box containing the description of my words. You have time limit. After 10 seconds, the answer will be revealed. In our example the answer is teacher dags. I believe that you are ready. Let's start our activity. The answer is divergent boundaries.
The description is for the rift valleys. For this item, the answer is the Mid-Ocean Ridge. The answer is Convection Current. For the last item, the answer is Wider Ocean. For our next lesson, you may watch San Andreas movie to get ideas on our next topic. Before we end our class today, here is the quotation from Miss Marilyn Monroe. Sometimes, good things fall apart, so better things can come together. Our class for today is now dismissed. I hope you won't forget the lesson you have just learned. See you next class. Goodbye.